Got a slam jammer, rammer jammer. <laughs> Bad mama jamming record. Number number 13 on my fantasy playlist, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Boy, they put on a show. We put on those elaborate stage shows, man. The Afros, the whole thing back in the day. Fall in love with me. If I remember correctly, this would be their last top 40 hit. At least their last top 20. And then uh, Maurice White, I think he did a solo thing. I remember some solo things he did in the 80s, but then there was Philip Bailey, a Chinese wall. Walking on a Chinese wall. Remember that? Philip Bailey. And there was, uh, oh, what was it? Easy Lover he did with Phil Collins. Remember the video with Philip Bailey of Earth, Wind, and Fire and Phil Collins? They're flying over London in a helicopter. The video of Easy, was it Easy Lover? Yeah, Easy Lover, the name of the record. Philip Bailey and Earth, Wind, and Fire. But uh, the album is Power Light. And uh, their 12th studio album, they put out their first two debut albums in 1971, formed around 1969. They, they underwent, the, they went through a lot of personnel changes, and particularly in the early 70s, mid-70s. The original members, and they called themselves the Saudi Peppers, which evolved in Earth, Wind, and Fire. It was basically uh, three friends, Maurice White. Maurice White, by the way, was a session drummer at the Chance Record label. Legendary chess record label. Muddy Waters and Chuck Berry on chess in Chicago. Rolling Stones did a little bit of recording there in the mid-60s. And he played. Maurice White played in the Ramsey Lewis Trio. Remember the in crowd, that version of the in crowd? They had these jazzy renditions with people clapping and everything and talking in the background. It's like a jazz and proper, I can't, oh gosh, I can't pronounce the word, improvisation or something like that. Well, anyway, the in crowd back in 1965, the cover of the Dobie Gray record they did. And uh, Maurice White was in that group. So they start out as the Salty Peppers, became Earth, Wind, and Fire. A couple of my favorite songs by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, get away and a serpentine fire. Serpentine fire was absolutely killer. You got the energetic horns. You got the uh, the rocket fire rhythm section that just yeah that just take you to the moon and back <laughs> and beyond. That was the throwdown. I remember listening to Shelley the Playboy on WATV in Birmingham playing laying that one down. Serpentine fire. Or maybe it was another DJ on WATV in Birmingham, an R&B station. I could just barely pick up here in Tuscaloosa back in the day. But uh, this this record, Fall in Love With Me, it's got, it's got the ingredients of the Earth, Wind, and Fire record that I just mentioned, but it's got this tasty electric guitar in there. I got to find out who played the guitar. It's a killer guitar solo in there, guitar riff in that record. One of the members, one of the original members of Earth, Wind, and Fire, and he left the group in the early 70s, Wade Flemings. He co-wrote the song Stay in My Corner by the Dales. Remember that song, 1968-1969, Dales killing it back in the late 60s. Lovely records, lovely records they did. The Dales, and that Wade Flemings had some records of his own as a solo artist back in the late 50s and early 60s off the VJ record label. His biggest hit was uh, Easy Lovin', big R&B hit, but made it only, got up, got up to number 70 on Billboard's Hot 100 in 1960. I want to add that one to my Spotify playlist. I'm in the process of adding a whole bunch of songs, obscure records on my Spotify playlist from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and then I'll eventually migrate into the 80s later on. But uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, gosh, did I mention they got a star? Earth, Wind, and Fire got a star on, a ho on, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I didn't know that until I researched this record. Inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, much deserved. They sold about over 90 million records. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Fall in Love with Me at number 13 on my fantasy playlist, March 18, 1983.